I'm Jim Uting. I am the product manager for Dixon Drums and Hardware. And uh, we're not going to go through the booth, you know, product by product. We just want to give you kind of an overview, have a little fun at the same time. Our first, one of our first moves was a few years later in 2014, we signed this man. Fortunately, talk about timing. At that time, his previous, previous drum brand took all the maple drums out of their lineup. Dixon is all about maple spread out throughout our whole lineup. So Greg got the drums that he wanted to play and we got a ambassador like no other. He plays any style. His, his list of people he's played with and recorded with is just endless. I introduced Greg as the un, unlimited Greg Bissonette, which applies to Dixon. We are unlimited. We are a full line drum and hardware brand. The only problem was when I took over the company, it had a perception that was tied to the original logo, which everyone's familiar with. The perception was $99 snare drums, $299 drum kits. Well, breaking free from Command and KMC allowed Dixon to open up an entire line of drums. So we had to change that perception before anyone would embrace us and take us seriously. And the biggest move toward doing that was last year at NAMM, we changed our image, our logo. If you look at the end, the logo is actually D-I-X-O-N. Dixon is stacked upon each other. We wanted to take more of an independent approach and give it more of a boutique vibe to a full line drum brand, which you have complete ac uh, access to. So that was like, the, you know, parting the seas. Without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Greg Bissonette to tell you a little bit about his experience with Dixon. Thanks, guys. So my first uh, experience on the Ringo tour, Ringo's All Star Band, was R Ringo seeing my kid. He associated it with Willie Dixon. He said, "Wow, a whole lot of love that Led Zeppelin stole from Willie Dixon." He looked at the logo and he said, "Dixon, Willie Dixon. All right." And I went, "Okay." He's Loving the kit, loving the way it sounds. Again, the ultra maple, you know, very thin maple shell. Uh, this kit here, the rumor, you're going to hear this in a second. But uh, Jim and I were talking to Ringo about the finish of the drums for this tour we're on now. And he said, purple is energy. I love purple. It's great. It's energy. We said, well, we're thinking of a purple sparkle. And Ringo said, well, instead of light lavender, let's do deep purple, like the band. Like the band, that became kind of our deep purple like the band nice. joke. So anyway, it's a, a great relationship. The drums sound so fantastic. I use them in the studio, I use them live. They're my favorite drum company. And what an assortment of finishes and hardware. The new logo, the new design, just phenomenal. I love the drums so much. And the great news is Greg started out uh, again, he came over because of the maple drums. Uh, he was convinced that there was someone in charge that knew drums, talked drums, understood where, where Greg came from. Yeah. And so we started out with a short-term contract, and I'm happy to announce that on Sunday, Greg just needs to deal to make him a per permanent part of Dixon Drums. Very so, honored. and that comes from his belief in the brand, proof Absolutely. on the road, proof in the studio, Absolutely. and the fact that Dixon is surrounded with uh, music industry folks, drummers, as well as St. Louis music, which is primarily music industry folks. So it's a, it's becoming not only a community-based brand, but Dick's, but St. Louis music is a commu community, uh, family-owned company. Yes. So we're going to do something fun real quick. Greg's going to do something called Name That Tune. Also, after we're done, we're going to draw for a free snare drum. The kit that Greg's playing on is one of the reasons why Dixon had a breakthrough year this year. It's called Little Rumor. You all may already stock small footprint, low volume kits. What makes Little Rumor different is this bass drum. It's not 16 inch, it's not 18, it's 20 inch by seven. So with those smaller bass drums, you get kind of a basketball effect. With the larger head surface, you're able to tune those drums down so you get a nice punchy, so it looks like your real drum kit, it plays and sounds like your real drum kit, only smaller. Leave the cajon at home. Bring a drum set to the gig. <laughs> so the kit as you see here is a shell pack. It's, it's a five piece, which actually comes with the little 10 inch snare and the little tambourine. Uh, what Greg's playing on there is an optional 12 inch snare drum, which comes in either a four or five inch depth. 
we're going to give one of these away, which you won't take with you. We will ship it to you after the show. So put your card in the drum. If you don't have a card, fill one out. So take it away, Greg. Okay, so fill out a card, put it in here, and we're going to draw. One of you are going to win this, this drum. Let's play a little drum karaoke. Let's play a little name that drum beat. Let's see who can, who can yell out or raise their hand in the first one. Britney Spears, walk this way. Beatles, come together. One that's got sing, sing, sing with a little metal edge to it. Hot <laughs> for Teacher, yeah. Billy Cobham's Spectrum evolving into Hot for Teacher. How about we do a little sing along? Everybody's got their vocalese? 